Well, good afternoon from New Rochelle, New York, and today my car took a dive on me, one of them, so I had to wait for a tow truck, had the car towed off, so I decided to walk home a few miles, but in walking home, you get a better idea of all the new construction going on here, you see all these high-rises coming up. This one is going to be a 28-story twin tower luxury housing. Oh, yes, indeed. We've been here almost six years now. And we've seen it go from a kind of a sleepy little berg to, uh, well, to a bigger town. And I think since our proximity to Manhattan is so close... About a 25 minute ride on the train or maybe 40 minutes in your car this is turning into a primary to move check all these places out going up this isn't all of them because i'm just in a in a small area here another one going up here this is uh a company called rxr LRC they basically own this town so you get a lot of the same people have been in office forever here too just like in Sacramento I watched what happened downtown started like this so it's going to be like a mini Manhattan or a, another White Plains New York there used to be uh, about four houses here on this empty lot now. There's about four houses. They tore those down. Here was a barber shop that was open until not too long ago on the adjoining residence. This is next, I'm sure. And if I was the people in these apartments here, I wouldn't get too complacent because they're right in the way of all this new progress, so to speak. All these new luxury high-rises going in. Now, I'm told, don't worry, there'll be some low-income housing available. But you know what low-income housing is? I think it's about like 2500 a month. So, if I was these people in these apartments, I wouldn't make any long-term plans because these places, all these brick buildings you see here, all these, right here, they're going to end up like this. And then they'll be replaced by this. The average price for a house in New Rochelle now, I think is around... Uh, and nothing fancy, mind you, nothing fancy, is going to be somewhere around the five hundred to five hundred and fifty thousand dollar range. Most of the places that I see for sale on Zillow and uh, Redfin are probably around five seventy five will get you a place like that, or like that. Some of the simpler of the homes. This one right here, they redid. And their asking price on this one was about $999,000. Here's another one of these apartments that they're going to tear down. So, if I was people that were living in these apartments, I wouldn't make any long-term plans either because... As you can see, all the new construction around here. This is what's this is what's going to be replacing them. Monstrous, 28-story, new luxury, not affordable to most of the working class folks. So, yeah, let's get a closer look at this one now. If anybody wants to make a comment, they, they're more than welcome to. 
But does this place look like it's worth a million dollars to you? This is all the yard space you get for a million dollars. I have no idea what the rent is like in some of these buildings, but I can imagine they're not that cheap. But uh, again, you know, I, I get a certain feeling about how things work out, and I saw how it worked out in my hometown of Sacramento, California, so believe me. This is a, a refreshed or renewed or rebuilt however you want to call it, single family residence, or it could be a multi-family residence. No garage. And again, this is the other side. No yard. I'm pretty sure these homes will probably make it to the redevelopment era coming here, but believe me, uh, trying to get around this town is another uh, is another matter. With all the street closures, you have to go all around and around and around. That's about all I can tell you right now. I mean, again, this is probably like an average two-story house. Could be anywhere between 550 to maybe 750, depending on uh, the market, I suppose. Oh, you see, like when I try to drive to get home. I have to go through a series of detours to do it. Replacing pipes, electrical, what have you. Well, that's about it for now. So uh, I just thought I'd uh, give you a little view of things happening around here. And everybody have a good day today. Thanks for joining me. Have a good day.